Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, only today we are Pet Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings, and the pets that live there. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Pet owners, today's show is all about you. We look at some new ideas for keeping your pets healthy, happy, and living the good life in a space that they share with you. And we have more than dogs and cats, too. We have a guinea pig, right? We do have a guinea pig, yeah. and I'm telling you, this is the happiest guinea pig you will ever see. <laughs> and I have the opportunity to learn about a great medical plan for your dog or cat, plus get firsthand experience with a method to help train your dog. And it was as simple as walking the dog. Exactly, so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces, Pet Spaces. They were both such sweet dogs. Oh, it was so good to see them again. You know, dogs love to get outside and really enjoy themselves. And when not walking on the leash, like mm -hmm. we just saw, they may be out running around having fun in the yard. Sometimes they just like sitting out there, finding a shady spot, taking in the sight. And the smells, they are dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, a healthy lawn maintained naturally will also be healthy for your pet. It's real important. Take a look. We all admire a beautiful lawn. It can even increase your home's curb appeal, but what does it take to get a lawn so beautiful? Regular applications of fertilizer, pesticides, and herbicides become part of the maintenance regimen. And all too frequently, those chemicals are harmful to the environment, children, and pets. Pet Spaces decided to take a look at a healthier alternative in lawn care. So joining me today is Jeremy Bruner from the Espoma Company. Now, Espoma has been a leader in natural organic gardening since 1929. Welcome to Pet Spaces. Thanks for having me. Before we actually get into an organic lawn care program, could you first explain some of the problems with traditional lawn care methods and how they could adversely affect our pets? Sure. Well, the main drawback of conventional lawn care methods is that they repeatedly apply broad pesticides to the entire lawn. So, for example, they may put a weed and feed product down on your lawn, but 90% of your lawn doesn't even have weeds. Now, what's the problem with that? Basically, there's two problems. The first is that these are hazardous and toxic materials, so they do present certain health risks to your family. And then also, there have been studies to show that pets are at greater risk from conventional lawn care methods as well. How is an organic lawn different? Well, the philosophy with organic lawn care is that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So basically, what you want to do is you want to have a healthy lawn. By having a healthy lawn, you won't have all the problems like insects, diseases, and other types of pests. To have a healthy lawn, you need a healthy soil. A healthy soil is brown, it's crumbly, and it's alive with earthworms and microbes. The idea is if you have a healthy soil, the roots can grow deep, and when you have deep roots, they're better able to withstand the stress of droughts, insects, pests, and other environmental stresses. What are some guidelines that we should follow in making an organic lawn? Well, the first thing you want to do is avoid weed and feed and other unnecessary pesticide products. If you do have a severe problem, choose the least toxic alternative available and just spot treat that given area. Um, next you want to mow properly. Mowing properly means don't scalp the lawn too low. You want to keep your grass blades at least three inches high. That way they shade out the weed seeds and prevents weeds from growing. Also, you never want to remove more than one third of that grass blade in any single cutting. The last part of, of mowing that you may want to consider as well is using a mulching mower. A mulching mower returns clippings to the soil and those clippings are rich in nutrients as well as organic matter so it will help improve the overall health of your soil. The last thing that you'd want to do, of course, is apply an organic fertilizer like our Espoma Organic Lawn Food. Espo uh, organic fertilizers offer several benefits over conventional lawn foods. The first thing is that you get a slow release nitrogen, which gives you a long lasting greening, uh, much longer, maybe up to three times longer than a conventional lawn food. So you get a nice long lasting green lawn. Uh, they're low in salt, so they don't burn your lawns. They don't leach out of the soil, so if you have nearby waterways and you have concerns about that, you don't have to worry about it. And lastly, there's nothing hazardous or toxic with any of our fertilizers, so uh, you don't have to worry about um, kids and pets playing in the lawn immediately after applying them. Or adults laying in the grass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wow, look at Gabe frolicking over there. He sure is enjoying this yard. And it's really nice that his owners don't have to worry about any toxic chemicals. 
access. Now, I noticed that you had organic weed preventer. Could you tell me about that? Sure. Our Spoma Organic Weed Preventer is made from corn gluten, which is a natural byproduct from the manufacturing of cornstarch for food. So it's safe and it's natural. It's a great source of nitrogen, so nitrogen is what makes your lawn green for a really long time. So you're getting a fertilizer aspect to it, but you're also preventing weeds like crabgrass and dandelions from establishing. Basically what it does is it, it prevents the weed seedlings from developing roots. So they just dry up and they die. The important thing is you need to apply it in early spring and early fall before weed seeds germinate. And because it's 100% natural and organic, it is safe to use around children and pets. And how would we apply it? It's very easy. Just take the corn gluten, pour it into a rotary or drop spreader. Then once you get the product in there, there are spreader settings on the back that tell you, depending on the type of spreader, what number you want to set it to. You set it to the proper number and start spreading. Anyone with pets or children that want a lush green yard can have peace of mind by knowing that going organic not only means they'll have a beautiful yard, but it also means they're safe from toxic chemicals. Jeremy, thank you so much for being on Pet Spaces. It's my pleasure. And where can our viewers get more information on Espoma? They can just go to our website. It's www.espoma.com. That's great. Thanks again. For Pet Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. This would be a great place to bring Pet Spaces to a close. Yeah, you think? Well, we're out of time. So thank you for joining us today. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. We'll see you next time on Pet Spaces. Oh, Andy's going to get to you now. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.